Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 off the 2021 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got 20 rows of pumpkins on a farm, and then there are six pumpkins on each row that each is going to be important. And a farmer is going to use three trucks to take all the pumpkins, all of the pumpkins to the market. And we're going to put the same number of pumpkins in each truck that each comes up again, same number. So you know what I'm seeing several times here? I'm seeing that we are going to be using equal groups. Whenever we see equal groups, we're thinking multiplication or division. So let's start with this. We've got 20 rows of pumpkins in a farm, and there are six pumpkins on each row. So if each row has the same number. That means we're dealing with equal groups. So let's draw a strip diagram to kind of represent that. So first I need to figure out what's my total number of pumpkins. That is something I don't know. So total pumpkins, that's my unknown here. But I do know two facts that are going to help me. I've got 20 rows. So if I'm going to make this a part, part whole, I need to draw 20 little boxes down here. I'm not going to spend the time to do that, but I'll just kind of represent it like this. So there's 20 of these little boxes. Inside each of these boxes, I've got six. So I've got six pumpkins. And this 6 goes all the way over 20 different times. So, to me, that lets me know I can do 20 groups of 6. So that's going to be one way to do it. There's my equal groups needing multiplication. So I've got 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 2 is 12. Some of you might have noticed that this is a multiple of 10. And so when we see a multiple of 10... We could just multiply our non-zero digits. 2 times 6 equals 12. And then add the zeros left over. There's one zero. Or we could just flip this around. We can say 6 times 20. That's the commutative property letting us flip that around. And you could have just skipped counted by 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Either way, we've got 120 pumpkins. That is not our answer. You notice that it is an answer, but this is a two-step problem. We haven't even talked about the trucks. And look at this question. The question says not how many pumpkins are there, how many pumpkins will be each truck. We haven't even messed with the trucks yet, so don't take the bait. Let's keep reading. A farmer will use three trucks to take all of the pumpkins, all of the pumpkins. That's our 120. So let me draw a new strip diagram here so we can at least start this. We've got 120 pumpkins, and the farmer's going to use three trucks. And look at this, the same number of pumpkins in each truck. So I've got more equal groups. So I could possibly solve it like this. Three groups of whatever. We might be able to figure that out, equals 120. But we could also just do a little bit of long division 120 divided by 3 that's going to get us our whatever so let's look at it both ways we'll start with our long division that's probably the safest way got my 120 divided by 3 now here's the trick right here remember we start with 3 and we start with that first digit can 3 go into 1 no can 3 go into 12 yes so we're going to deal with that 3 goes into 12 four times 4 times 3 is 12. We're skipping the 0, pretending like it doesn't exist. There's nothing left over. But we're not done yet. Now we need to bring this 0 down. And we need to divide all over again. And yes, 3 doesn't go into 0. That's fine. But we need to put a 0 there because 40 is a lot different than 4. We need to go ahead and finish this out. So it looks like our answer is going to be 40. We could have figured that out if we would have said 3 times what makes 12. Well, that's 4. And then we would have added that 0, we would have gotten 40. But either way, we're going to put 40 in each of these trucks, and that is going to be our answer, B.